Hi, how are you? It's Elaine. I want to show you what we're doing for Christmas this year. Unfortunately, the COVID numbers are really high in Saskatchewan right now, so there is a um, public health order to stay home, basically. Uh, the only people who are allowed to go over to someone else's house are people who live by themselves. So since we are a household of three, that means that we have to stay home. And so we decided that we're going to um, make our own Christmas dinner for the three of us here. And uh, I just wanted to make a little video of that. Tonight, huh? You like your Christmas present? <laughs> New it all. You like your Christmas present? Yeah. <laughs> We're cheating with the buns because those were pre made, I mean, pre bought like that, and we're just gonna throw them in the oven. Frozen dough, you just thaw them out, let them rise, bake them 350. For the first time ever, I'm making candied yams. I've never even eaten them, but they're always on. TV shows and movies and stuff like that. So I want to have candy DMs. And we got the vegan marshmallows for that. And then okay, now in the video that I watched saying how to make this, she said to put cinnamon and nutmeg she didn't say how much, so we're just winging it. First I have to open this mofo. Thank you. You're welcome. My wife, she don't need a big strong man, but she's got one. <laughs> Cinnamon. Nutmeg. I'm gonna throw some brown sugar on there. And a bunch of butter or margarine as the case may be. Will you just have a look here? How messy your workstation is? How clean? That's because he eats all of his mess. No. <laughs> So now, just have to wait for those buns to come out of the oven, and we can put this into the oven. This is the stuffing that we got. Mrs. Cubison's. Instead of getting a vegetable broth, we got this better than bullion, so we can kind of make our own broth at home. And our gravy that we're going to have is Franco-American mushroom gravy. Because it's got no meat in it. <laughs> or dairy. Or dairy. Here come the buns. In the yams go. They go in for half an hour. Fogging up the windows in here. Hi! So I made a bit of a goof. I didn't read the instructions on the box very well. It says that I need celery and onion. 
Oh no. I didn't buy celery or onion. Oh no. So we just have bread. <laughs> but luckily there's better than bullion that we're going to make the broth out of. Has celery and onion and tomato and carrot. It should be okay. <laughs> It'll be tasty. Mushroom gravy. Good gravy. Almond silk. Take a little bit of that. Just dash it in there. And then you take this thing. Mash, mash. Those are good looking potatoes. Thanks, I cut them myself. It's bubbling, bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Show off. <laughs> I used to work in the restaurant, so, you know. <laughs> We were supposed to put water in there, and I didn't put any water in there, so let's see how it's looking right now. <laughs> Need a fork. Tough? Tough. <laughs> So we'll throw some water in, throw it back in the oven. I think that's enough, probably more, eh? A little bit? No, that should be good. Think so? Yeah. Look at that salad. We need some dressing for the salad. We need some, some ranch. Some olive. What do you want? Greek? Maple and Dijon? Thousand Island? I want Greek. 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 So we let it cook with some water. Oh, these top ones are still a little tough. Let's dig down here where there's some water. Well, that one's soft. So maybe mix it around a bit? Yeah. And then when we put the marshmallows on, I'll give those top ones. We don't really know what we're doing with this. Next year will be better. Next year we'll remember the water. <laughs> Are we supposed to mash those before we put the marshmallows on? Or is it just like that? I think it's just supposed to be like that. Okay. <laughs> marshmallows are in. We've moved it to a slightly bigger pan. Maybe it'll cook a little more. Ten more minutes. 